Hey guys, um, I'm doing a new video about a, a new a new manga that I'm interested in. It's called Jagan, with six A's. <laughs> and um, it's, it is, is it um, it's a more adult manga, so I, I think you guys might be interested if any of you watch this. Um, it's made by Kens Kensuke Ni Nishida and. Mun Munayuki um, Kanashiro, and the main character um, of this manga is Shintaro uh, Jagasaki, and he is a police officer. He's like one of those neighborhood police officers. He's not anything big or anything. And um, we open up with him going to a convenience store with some. <sighs> with some frustrating characters. They are the type of people that are um don't abide by the law or anything and they're all happy and laughing at him and saying like that he doesn't look like he has um a lot of life in him. They they're just kind of being mean to him in general and he he does imagine him actually shooting them which I don't blame him for in this kind of situation. And, uh, but all he does is kind of smile and kind of act like an idiot like they are. And, uh, that made me kind of, made me kind of, mm, irked me a little bit. Um, wait a second. Now, um, we, we see him go back to his job. And it seemed like he gets bullied at work also. Like, his people at work call him an idiot. They talk to him and they kind of bully him about how his life is because um, he has a girlfriend that he's been with, I think, four years now. And um, he doesn't know if he wants to marry her or not. Which is... Uh, kind of... I kind of agree with him on that. But that's just me. And when he goes back home to his girlfriend... He, um, she, she's, she's pretty nice, and, um, she's telling him that, uh, she wants to invite, um, her parents over, because they've, uh, been living together now for two years, and, um, yeah, after, um, they're done having sex, they, uh, he's up in the bed, kind of, thinking on how his life is gonna pan out, and he pan sees it panning out really boring, just having an average life, never doing anything, and um, he starts imagining him basically shooting away all his problems. He imagines shooting those people at the convenience store, shooting his co-workers, and even shooting his girlfriend. Which, it makes him interesting, because he's definitely a dark, a dark character. It seems like he knows what the right thing to do is, but he kind of wants to, do it, to just get it over with by killing them. He's an interesting character, which uh, I do have interest, like, seeing where this story goes. But after that, while well, he's, um, he, next morning, I think, he, uh, goes with his partner to go deal with a drunk guy on the subway. And, uh, oh, almost forgot. There was a scene where, for some reason, we see frogs raining from the sky and an owl, which we don't know about yet. Which was a little weird, and there was like hundreds upon hundreds, maybe even like thousands of them running down from the sky, and we don't know why. But um, he's with his partner at work, and we see um, a drunk guy. Um, they kind of just help him out, and uh, he goes around on a train, and they chase after him. But while he's on the train, we see this kind of, probably a guy's boss chewing him out, basically saying like, oh yeah, you you failed and you shouldn't have done that and do you know who I am? And once the cops try to stop him, he starts getting even more and more and more angry. And as we see that, uh, he the man starts like, his his face starts to misshape and he like starts growing a mouth and his tongue turns into a mouth. It's a really weird, you have to read this to just know how this thing looks. It's very creepy and it's very interesting looking and I like the art of it 
and he just starts killing everybody on the train, and he even kills his partner, and when he goes to shoot him, he knocks the gun out of his hand and rips off two of his fingers, and he just, and he kind of just sees his life kind of flashing before his eyes, and then we somehow, we see him, we see his arm actually turn into a gun, like this, except, you know, it's kind of like a barrel, and he shoots it and kills it, which was... Uh, of course, a big surprise, because I thought this... At first, it seems like it's going to be kind of a slice of... Not exactly a slice of life anime, but, like, in grounded in more reality. But now that we see this monster and him growing this weird gun arm, I'm interested to see... Um, It's more of a supernatural manga. Um, I'm interested to see where this goes, because it ends off around there. And um, I implore you guys to go watch it, because this is a very interesting manga to me. Um... Yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you guys want to ask me anything about it in the comments down below or just want to talk about it, just make sure you do it. Alright, bye guys.